Samsung makes many different products. They make phones, tablets, headphones, watches. In a lot of key categories, they have the best in class product. But something really unique about them is that their products work really well with each other, but also really well with other OEMs. And so in today's video, I'm gonna switch every product in my life to the Samsung version to see what performs. Starting with the phone, this is S24 Ultra. It just came out last month. And there are a bunch of really interesting features that they added over the S23 Ultra that I'm excited to test out throughout the day, including some camera upgrades. So S24 Ultra has multiple resolution options. You have up to 8K video. This is 4K video from the S24 Ultra. And it also is the first Samsung phone to have a quad tele system. So the zoom range is much improved. We're gonna test that today. But I think the most exciting part here is that the footage looks really good for video. In the past, I feel like Samsung was excellent at photo, but video, there was a pretty big difference. And Samsung has also partnered with Google on a really cool feature called circle to search. So for example, if I take a picture of my coffee here and then I go to view that picture and I hold down on the home button, it will kind of prompt this Google screen where I can circle something and it will search this image without my having to leave the app. And now I can go here and see all similar images. I think it's really nice that Google and Samsung work so closely together on a lot of features. Um, so for example, Samsung makes something called Bixby, which is their voice assistant, not beloved in the tech community, but then Google has Google Assistant, and you can actually set that as the default assistant on this phone if you want to. Because I'm using Samsung products of the day, I'm actually gonna use Bixby. So what we're gonna do right now is compare how Bixby responds to three different questions and then how Google Assistant does to see what the contrast is between them. Because I feel like Bixby gets a lot of hate, but they have been subtly kind of improving it over the years and I wanna actually see if that has led to any real world improvement. How old is the President of the United States? 81 years old. Where was he born? Joe Biden was born in Scranton. How old is the President of the United States? 81 years. Where was he born? Here's what I found online. <laughs> was not able to keep up the fact that I was still talking about Joe Biden. One of the main advantages of Google Assistant is that not only does it have like really good conversational memory, like you can ask multiple questions in sequence and it will know that you're still asking about the previous line of thought. Like for example, asking someone's age and then asking where they were born, it will remember that that's who you're talking about. But the other main advantage is they have Gemini, which is their AI. Um, and Samsung is obviously much further behind on AI development, so it's cool to see Samsung partner with Google. So if you get a Samsung phone, that is Android and a lot of those Google exclusive features. It's 11.59 a.m. Checking that on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, which um, is their main smartwatch. They also have their regular version. I'm gonna go work out with this a little bit later today. It is just such an outrageously beautiful day in New York. On days like this, or honestly any type of day, I often go for a very long walk and I'll wear headphones to listen to either music or a podcast, an audiobook. And the Galaxy Buds 2 by Samsung, I feel like are one of their most underrated products. They are great. They're $99 and they have a really slim, small build that when it goes in your ear, I feel like it's very easy to forget it's in there. It's only five grams for each bud respectively and they have really good battery life. And I feel like with competitor products, like let's say the AirPods, some people feel like they don't stay in their ear that well because there's not a tip. For my ears, they actually stay in really well. I think I'm just lucky that my ear shape works for them. But for an earbud like this, the Buds 2, they have tips you can actually try multiple sizes of so you can get a more secure fit and they're so comfortable for an extended period of time. The case is also really small, which I like. And the sound quality is great. Like I feel like there's a lot of bass and it really brings music to life. They work with the Samsung phone. They honestly also work with iPhones or other Android phones. And I feel like people don't talk about them enough for how good they are. So on a day like this, popping them in and just going for a walk and I love it. Samsung has an app called Samsung Health, which allows you to pair with their wearables. This is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, and we'll be able to get our workout data into the app and we can analyze it later. And I've been using a lot of the cycling workout preset because I stress fractured my hips. I haven't been able to do my normal running. So cycling has become the main form of cardio right now, which is wild because like a month ago, I didn't know how to ride a bike. Definitely still a novice, but beautiful day in Central Park. So I'm gonna start a workout right now by swiping over here and hitting cycling and it will bring us in, and there we go. One of the cool things about the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and the Classic is that it has different zone modes, so you can see which heart rate zone you're in during your workout, so you know if you wanna push it or keep at a slow pace, and then it will also track where you're biking, like it will give you a map and post. Quick little mini bike ride done. Still need to get better at the mounting and dismounting process. So the watch can tell when you stop to work out and it will actually auto pause it, and then I can use the rotating bezel here to slide down and see what my heart rate is and what zone I'm in what my minimum heart rate was and my average throughout the workout. And then if I slide over here, I can access my music controls, like if I was using the Galaxy Buds 2 at the same time. And I can actually adjust the media, the volume with the rotating bezel, which is pretty clutch. Like I feel like having a physical interaction point makes this a little bit better than the regular Galaxy Watch 
normal version, but you do pay $3.99 for this. So it's about $100 more. And then if I hit the button on the side here, I can access the controls to finish the workout, resume it, or start anew. I'm gonna hit finish. And it's collecting that that is um, the first synced ride because I just paired this with a new uh, phone. Paired it with the S24 Ultra. 6.9 miles was the max speed. And if we go over to the S24 Ultra here, you can see that it's paired with the watch. It has the battery life, like how much time it thinks we're gonna be able to get given the battery life of 64%, watch faces, et cetera. And if I open up the health app here, this integration will immediately have my bike ride come up, the amount of calories burned during it, and the speed on the bike. The Tab S9 is the next part of the ecosystem. It's their 11 inch $699 tablet that actually comes with an S Pen. I feel like it's a great value product. The build is really nice. It's pretty thin and the S Pen snaps onto the back magnetically. A lot of other tablets in the market, like we think about the iPad, have the stylus as an additional purchase, but I feel like the S Pen is so built into how you interact. Anything from writing on the screen that goes from handwriting to text, or taking notes like if you're a student. I still think a laptop is the far superior setup for school. It just makes it so much easier. I feel like anytime I've tried to make a tablet work, it's always been like a weird workaround and not like an actual convenience utility ad for most things. And the tablet also comes enabled with QuickShare, which is Samsung's ability to quickly share files among different Android devices. It used to just be Samsung devices. Now it's anything with Android because of their partnership with Google. It's very reminiscent of AirDrop and it works really well. And you can also log into your Samsung account on here so you can have things like Samsung Health and your um, Galaxy Buds 2 paired to it. I would love them to add some other continuity features like we have in the Apple ecosystem. Like for example, I would love to be able to copy something on the S24 Ultra and then paste it on here. It's little things like that that just kind of feel like a magic ecosystem of, of why you'd want to buy all of your products from one brand. It also has a really wide front-facing camera, which is incredible for if you're like on a Zoom room or video presentations. It doesn't look like the sharpest quality in the world. Um, it is technically 4K, but this just goes to show like the quality of the sensor is a little bit more multifaceted than just the um, resolution that it shoots in. But this looks pretty good and it has some decent uh, color balancing, like moving all around this work right now. And then the back facing camera, I think the iPad lineup has a better camera than this. This does not look as sharp to me and it really starts to fall apart when you zoom in a lot. But I feel like in general, the main thing is just having a camera that works well. And I actually like the placement a lot of the camera. The placement is at the top. Um, when you're holding it in landscape mode, which I feel like is how a lot of people would use it for video calls versus having it on like the right or left side like other tablets do, where then it looks like you're looking off to the side um, in kind of a bizarre way. So let me know what you think though of this image quality from the front facing camera. This is such a fun day using all the Samsung products. I feel like Samsung does not get a lot of credit for A, how extensive their ecosystem is, and then B, how great a lot of the products are. Like, I feel like the headphones and the tablet are genuinely great and they don't get talked about a lot. So this is a super fun video. If you want to see me do the same thing with Google, we're here, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.